Blue lives matter. Blue lives matter. All lives matter. Abolish the Second Amendment. Three SWAT officers shot, injured in Philadelphia. Police call level of gun violence ridiculous. It appears all the injured officers will be okay, the mayor said. This was written by Kevin Shalvey and Emily Shapiro, published on October 12, 2022, and I'm reading from abcnews.go.com. Let's go to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania again. Three members of a Philadelphia SWAT team were shot while serving a warrant Wednesday morning, according to police, who again pleaded for an end to the city's gun violence. It appears all the injured officers will be okay, Philadelphia Mayor Jim Kenney said. This shooting occurred just after 6 a.m. as SWAT officers tried to serve a warrant on a person who was wanted for an August homicide and was suspected of participating in multiple armed robberies, Philadelphia Police First Deputy Commissioner John Stanford said at a news conference. As officers approached the door, the 19-year-old suspect shot at them through the door and windows, Stanford said. The suspect tries to flee, and when the SWAT officer followed, the suspect fired at them, according to Stanford. SWAT officers returned fire and the suspect was pronounced dead at 7.32 a.m., he said. Two of the injured officers are expected to be released from the hospital later on Wednesday, Stanford said. One officer was struck in the leg, one in the hip, and the third was hit in the upper chest, Stanford said. It's good to see them sitting up, talking, and their families around them, Kenny told reporters. Stanford called the level of gun violence in Philadelphia ridiculous, adding, it's enough. There's not a day that goes by that we don't either have a child that is shot, true, or multiple people shot, true, because there are too many people out here carrying guns, absolutely true, and they don't have consequences. Bravo, bravo, Stanford, bravo. Then he said, some people need to be in jail. Oh, gosh, no. Okay, yes, people who commit criminal activity do need to be incarcerated. We don't need violent criminals on the street. But how about fixing the systemic issue of guns permeating American society? He has the right diagnosis. He has the right diagnosis of the disease, but the wrong solution, the wrong medication to fix the illness of American society. The real ill of American society is how many guns continue to flood American streets, allowing these crimes to continue to happen. This should not be happening. This is not normal, he said. Absolutely. Unfortunately, we have come to believe that this is the normal course of events. Absolutely true. It is not. It is troubling. It's deeply troubling. And the rest of the world looks at us like idiots, like idiots because of our gun violence epidemic. Stanford stressed that Wednesday's suspected gunman was just 19 years old. Something has been broken in this young man's life for a long time, and it just didn't start today, he said. Philadelphia Police Commissioner Danielle Outlaw, <laughs> what an ironic name, added in a statement, We are tired of having to send our officers into harm's way to serve warrants on suspects who have no business being on the street in the first place. No, not everyone needs to be in jail, but when we repeatedly see the extensive criminal histories of those we arrest for violent crime, the question needs to be asked as to why they were yet again back out on the street. I am beyond disgusted by this violence. Our entire department is sickened by what is happening to the people that live, work, and visit our city, Outlaw continued. Our officers will not be intimidated and we will continue to do everything we can to make Philadelphia a safer place to live. And that's the end of the story. I'm glad that this story got a more in-depth, thorough write-up than the majority of the mass shootings that I covered. Most of the time, it's less than 200 words. Uh, I can scroll and finish it in two minutes. But this one actually has some details, some meat to the bones of this story. I believe that's why I believe the reason for that is because this story is about police officers getting shot. And whenever police officers get shot, it's a national emergency. Right. And I'm not saying that police lives or the lives of the people who work as police officers do not matter. Of course, blue lives matter. All lives matter. Black lives matter. Why, why do I say these slogans? Because these slogans are only brought up whenever black people or minorities bring up the actual grievances that are real and systemic biases that exist in this white supremacist world. When they actually should mean that we are trying to make all Americans safer. So when I say blue lives matter, I'm not trying to align myself with right wing conservative reactionary nutcases. And when I say all lives matter, the same thing. I don't mean that in that way. What I'm saying is that if we really mean all lives or blue lives matter, then why don't we do something about systemic gun violence in America? Police officers are shot and killed every year. 
These are working class people who put themselves in harm's way to protect society or for whatever reason that you want to give uh, want to give for it. These people put themselves in harm's way and are threatened by gun violence. That does not need to happen. Police in other countries do not face the same level of violence that American police face. Unless you want to compare uh, America to South Africa or Nigeria or Colombia, sure, do that. But then at the same breath admit the United States is a third world country. What I'm comparing the United States to is Canada, New Zealand, Australia, Germany, France, etc. And for anybody who's going to say, just move to those countries, don't worry, I am not in America. I'm in beautiful Mauritius right now. And when I say all lives matter, I'm talking about how regular, normal, everyday Americans are victims of gun violence. If you don't believe me, watch my m hundreds of other videos on the gun violence epidemic that continues to flood happen in America. It's an epidemic. It continues to happen every day. We're, this is the 625th mass shooting in the United States of America in 2022 alone. That's more than two per day. Two per day. Thousands of people have been injured. Hundreds have been killed. These are all preventable deaths. And we saw what happened with Uvalde and Buffalo. And only the and the mainstream media only talks about mass shootings whenever it's something extremely heinous that happens that they have to cover. But these sorts of stories happen every single day, multiple times per day, sometimes so many times per day that I can't even cover them. If you really care about police, you would want to have actual gun reform. If you actually care about Black Lives Matter, you would actually want to have actual gun reform. Police shoot at people because they have legitimate, somewhat legitimate, concern that people have guns. And police are shot at, therefore, when they see people reaching and all this sort of stuff, I'm not saying they are justified for shooting unarmed civilians. No, if you are a police officer and you shoot or kill an unarmed civilian, you should go to jail. But we have to understand why they are so trigger happy. They are absolute. They are trigger happy because they have reasonable belief because America makes guns very accessible. They have reasonable belief to believe that the person that they are approaching could have a weapon and could turn on them. This is a mind state that is unique, unique to American police. In other countries, the police do not have to worry about this. This is why you see videos in other countries of people arguing with the police, slapping the police, all sorts of stuff. You could never do that in America, right? We know why. I'm just trying to say this. We need to make a safer society for all people. Police are working class people, and the civilians definitely uh, need to be protected from gun violence. Let's make America safe lower the amount of guns so that we don't continue to have horrible, tragic mass shootings like this and several others that will continue to happen and have happened uh, this year and in the past. Abolish the Second Amendment. My name is Simon Hill. Uh, thank you for watching. And by the way, one more time, just to make it clear, I am not a Democrat. I am not a Republican. I'm, I'm probably your worst fear, a globalist, socialist, anarchist. So <laughs> let's leave it at that. I hope these police officers fully recover. I don't say blue lives matter to align myself with the right wing of any sort. Not at all. I don't say all lives matter to align myself with those people at all. Uh, the fight will always be to advocate for all people, white, black, uh, Hispanic, Asian, whatever. All people should be able to live in the United States of America free, free from the threat of gun violence, rampant, random gun violence. My name is Simon Hill. Thank you for watching. Peace.